All right. Breaking news, breaking news. Errol Spence Jr. is on track with Sean Porter to do 350,000 pay-per-view buys and Mikey Garcia wasn't on the card and neither was Tyson Fury. Amazing how these things happen. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel, subscribers. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you to everybody that supports and encourages the channel by watching these videos that we do, watching them to the end, responding, sharing, liking, letting me know what you think about the videos and asking questions or throwing some insults around in the comment section. Also, thank you to everybody that supports uh, Fanon Business and Politics on Patreon. Also, everybody that comes to the live streams, especially OG Boxing Talk Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. Uh, uh, Sunday mornings, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time with myself, Blood Boxing, KQKC Boxing, and Curtis Anderson, also known as Kurt Sugar. Let's talk about this. Okay, okay. So, I heard this first through 78 Sports TV. And then I heard some other people talk about it. Then I saw a tweet this morning from Mike Coppinger. Uh, and then the tweet said that sources from the PBC say that they believe that the Errol Spence Jr. versus Sean Porter fight pay-per-view is going to come around 350,000 pay-per-view buys. When people asked me what I thought this fight was going to do, I said I thought it was going to do around the same as the Mikey Garcia fight. Now, why would I say that? If you've not seen my video I did uh, after the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight, it was called U.S. Demographics for Dummies. The reason that the, the Deontay Wilder fight did over 300,000 300, pay-per-views, the reason why Mikey versus uh, Mike, uh, Aerosmith Jr. versus Mikey Garcia did about 3325 pay uh, 350 pay-per-view buys. The reason why this fight did about 350,000 pay-per-view buys is because the same fan base is buying the fight. Not complicated. That is with the specifically with the Deontay Wilder fight versus Tyson Fury. The the, the uh, Errol Spence Jr. versus Mikey Garcia fight, which has now been proven what I said before. Because Sean Porter versus Mikey Garcia did not have a Mexican in it, right? After the fight with Mikey Garcia, Errol Spence, all these people were saying that's because it was Mikey. That's because it was Mikey. Errol Spence Jr. so had like 40 plus thousand, over 50,000 people there to watch him if you, if you include the luxury boxes. To watch him in Dallas, he's the champion. He's the guy that's doing better ratings than Mikey Garcia on regular Showtime. But for some reason, when the pay-per-view does well, they gave people try to give the credit to Mikey Garcia. Although Mikey Garcia ain't never Mikey Garcia has his viewership numbers on Showtime has have never been as good as Errol Spence Jr.'s. His ticket sales have never been as good as Errol Spence Jr.'s. But for some reason, when the two of them fight. The reason why it does well is because of Mikey Garcia. Now, I wonder why this is. Why people say that? Because of the myth that black fighters do not sell, which makes absolutely no sense if you look at the highest selling pay-per-views of all time. It's littered with black American fighters, littered with them. But for some reason, that just doesn't fit the narrative of the mainstream media and certain types of boxing fans. So when people asked me, what do I think the pay-per-view buys are going to be on this? I said, about the same as Mikey Garcia's. The same people that want to see Mikey Garcia fight Errol Spence Jr. are going to want to see Errol Spence Jr. fight Sean Porter. In fact, it's a better fight. And there are really hardcore boxing fans that care about the sport of boxing and that want to watch and re can recognize good fights, number one. And number two that are going to continue to support fighters that they like. 
And Errol Spence Jr. has a fan base. This is not a phantom fan base. It might not be the fan base that might, that Ring Magazine is trying to attract into the sport, right? And I mean track, attract into the sport. Trying to get fighters to expand the market and bring in new fight fans into the market to grow the market. This 350,000 pay-per-views, the 325,000, 350,000 pay-per-view buys for, for, for Deontay Wilder, and more than likely the same numbers are going to pop off again for Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz, are, are the established boxing fan base. The people that know who Deontay Wilder is, who know who who know that Luis Ortiz and Deontay Wilder is a good fight. They want to see a good, exciting heavyweight fight, and they're willing to put their money on the table to, to, to support it. This is not a mystery. The only thing that has to, the only thing that it has to take place is people have to recognize what's going on and be able to see it for what it is. And I'm not going to use the R word when it comes to this. Top rank has been consistently trying to expand boxing and try to bring in fans who would be otherwise not be interested in the sport. So they try to, so they market, market, market fighters to people who they want to bring into the sport. They are not marketing and approaching the established fan base that's already there. They are taking those guys for granted. So that's why they don't, in my opinion, that's why they don't feature Terrence Crawford. They don't feed. They're not. Uh, they're not going to feature um, Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson right now has a boost. He's a really good fighter with with the top rank. But what was Shakur Stevenson talking about the, as far as a promotion of Teofimo Lopez? Uh, yes, yeah, of himself versus Teofimo Lopez. That even in the middle of the Shakur Stevenson fight, they're marketing Teofimo Lopez. That's what. That's what he's saying. And that's what he's going to experience as long as he's with top rank. Uh, Errol, uh, excuse me, Terrence Crawford. There's no reason in the world Terrence Crawford shouldn't be doing 300,000, 350,000, uh, 50,000 pay-per-view buys. There's no reason. But why isn't he? Because they're not marketing him to the people that would buy that fight. That's It's not like, and I'm a big Errol Spence Jr. fan, but it's not as if you know, um, guys like, you know, that he's not in the same status and have the same, you know, skill set and his fights aren't just as exciting as Errol Spence or, or maybe not as exciting as Deontay Wilders. But because that is it or maybe not quite as exciting as Errol Spence Jr.'s either, because that's just a bloody that's just a war, not a bloody war, but a war. Regardless, look, we knew this. I knew this was going to be the case. And I'm definitely saying I told you so. And as to all the people that made counter videos to my boxing demographics for dummies that I did that I did after the Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder fight, look at what happened to Deontay Wilder. Look what happened to Tyson Fury after that fight was over. Tyson Deontay Wilder did did about a million people watched him on Showtime again in a fight that lasted two minutes. There wasn't even enough time for people to go to the bathroom and get back on time. They blinked. The fight was over and it was still at a million. Now, people want to use that number for their own reasons and say, oh, well, it's less than a million. Man, fights pick up in the third or fourth round is when people peek and get into the fight and watch the people are late to the fight. They trickle in the door. That's how that works. People trickle into the door. They trickled into the door. They were already there, set, ready to go. If that would have went three rounds, if that thing would have went three rounds, it would have been as usual, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 million people would have watched him because that's the number of people that always watch Deontay Wilder, always watch him. Tyson Fury, on the other hand, is over on ESPN Plus app and he can't get 4,000 tickets sold. To be specific, 3,577 tickets uh, for his fight with Otto Valin. But this was the guy that was the reason that the fight did 300, over 300,000 pay-per-views. Mikey Garcia, again, with this was not on this card. Was, is Sean Porter Mexican? Is Sean Porter a pay-per-view star? Is Sean Porter somebody that gets, usually, typically gets a lot of numbers? No. 
So why could Sean Porter and Errol Spence Jr. do the same numbers as Errol Spence Jr. and Mikey Garcia? It's because it's the same hardcore boxing fan base that can recognize a good fight and so are supporting their fighters. And in large part, clearly not exclusively, I wouldn't say that because I can't prove that, but I know that I do live streams. I know this is going to be 350,000 because I look at my live stream. I'm talking during the fight to 75,000 people on my little bitty channel. There was real excitement around that fight. Real anticipation around that fight from hardcore boxing fans for, for a unification fight. And many, many, many of those people, I would bet the vast majority of those people that bought those were black American fight fans that are been decades long hardcore fans of the sport. And that's what that fight tapped into. That's what Deontay Wilder fight is tapping into. That's what Fox is Fox uh, Sports is tapping into when they have higher numbers of people watching all of their uh, uh, on their fights on average than ESPN has, than the zone has. Showtime's a smaller network, but Showtime has built its boxing program off the recognition of those same demographics. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, and I accept you guys' apologies, even though you're not going to give them. I was right, and I'm rubbing it in your face. You know how I like to do it. Anyway, it is what it is. Let me know what you think in the comment section. With that, we're out. Peace.